Good evening. Welcome back to In the Court. This is December 6, 2022, 7 10 p.m. And uh, today has been a very, very tiring, mentally debilitating. That's the right word. Debilitating day. A mental exhaustion is almost like an understatement. Because today I spent, I don't have a notion to have, I, I did not like feel like making one. But basically, I spent the whole day working on dad's work and I did not do any new episodes. I just had this bunch of like a lot of episodes. Not a lot of episodes, a lot of episodes for which the queries were partially addressed some of them weren't addressed so i had to like figure out from between which ones are addressed and like make a separate file for those ones and upload those and then yet there are a bunch of ones which have not yet been addressed just talking about like describing what the process is I'm, like feeling the mental exhaustion coming through so about 6 15 ish or so i just gave up on anything i knew that i have to do this thing next but i just couldn't and instead i watched this beautiful tutorial by none other than our very own default cube he's got to 200k subscribers amazing well well deserved and he's making the windows xp thing here the screensaver and it's all procedurally done and it's amazing i mean just looking and he's using accumulate field here something i haven't yet dealt with but the fact that you can save progress and then keep incrementing on top of it is just like i love geometry nodes so much like i definitely see a lot of abstract almost like dna helix kind of things you could make with this it's just fun watching these tutorials and hoping that one day i'm gonna also make them i don't think there's anything uh, i have to document as far as the full-time job is concerned i did get on a couple of calls here and there but there was no like concrete video to work on as such which is good like naturally i'm getting a day or two off in between to figure out dad's work situation which is nice so i can like like a normal human being balance the two things and not get like burdened under simultaneously trying to manage both of them because it gets very hectic and tiring almost i did get on a call with the starbless technical team addressing a few things i had like all of those she was like how is that happening <laughs> so the, i like i'm like i'm asking you why is that happening she's like okay we'll get back to the answers like from the back end figure something other than that yesterday i did watch i mean because <laughs> of lack of anything else after a long time jay shetty podcast of trevor noah and uh, super recommend this conversation i mean i always knew trevor is a very intelligent person the context and the way he like even his jokes humor is on a very intellectual level so i knew that but like he's a very very deep thinker and questioning like my talk takeaways from this if i have to quickly think about one is the fact where he talks about when you're a performer and you're performing in front of like thousands and millions of people it's an exchange of energy like they come to the show with their friends with their family they watch the show and when they leave they have you they have taken all that energy from you but when they're gone then there's this void which is left and you're left alone and it's a very very lonely and sad place to be in which is why a lot of comedians turn to drugs and commit suicide and all of that so that's one big takeaway that i kind of resonated with in this one. Second thing he talks about is how because of his childhood and he's very much at peace when there is chaos and in absence of chaos he is like in peace he is kind of chaotic and the reason for that is because while growing up in south africa in his childhood there was domestic abuse in his house when he was a kid silence like nothing happening meant that anything could happen at any point which is almost like if you're in a sniper situation like a war situation when you're hearing gunshots you at least know where the enemies are and where the attack is coming from and you know what has to be done with or like how you deal with the situation but if there is silence you don't know what's gonna happen next the third thing is this idea of you just keep questioning things right don't consider things to be right or wrong just things just are and just try and understand and question as much as you possibly can yeah it's just a beautiful conversation here these two speak it's always a pleasure to hear jay speak beautiful ideas and things in this i was thinking like we could divide this one hour 30 minute podcast into like 10 small videos for click reflect based on these key concepts and ideas that i just said and could animate them and yeah you see katie sketch is currently live and she's doing her thing and i'm just thinking about i want to do her thing but of course my circumstances are different there are a lot of things which are pulling me back at some point like we will probably get there and start telling stories like i want to not as of now the other hand i was also thinking very keenly that now i want to completely transition for all the projects that i work for the full-time job from after effects to blender because i have kind of reached a point where i know everything that i could do inside after effects there is if not a direct way but like a roundabout way to get that done inside blender but once that roundabout thing and 
if you're setting everything up is done sky is the limit with blender you can just have 3d coming into your video at any point at any time so you really utilize that and when i get photoshop slates all i have to do is like export every single layer in that photoshop file as pngs and then i can work with those inside blender the only downside there's gonna be is because i use premiere and after effects with the dynamic link and i can go back and forth and do changes and feedbacks and then still have that non-destructive workflow over here in blender if i make something i will have to render that video out using EV it shouldn't be that intensive but still be hard coded a rendered video and on top of that I can bring it into Premiere or even if I have to go into Blender's editor there's no way you can take the Blender timeline and put it into Blender's editor which I really feel like if that was a feature in Blender that could that could literally do do it but it's not you'll have to render the video out and then do things but that's okay so very it won't be that intensive and one last thing i was really thinking about is i should just buy the <laughs> grease pencil course by cg boost because yeah i mean i have the animator survival kit book here i haven't even read one page of it i want to be practicing and making sketches and everything but i'm just not being able to do it so maybe he's just having another course will uh, force me to <laughs> not that all these courses that i have pending have forced me to but in this project that i made yesterday for the motion graphics i did see that all these courses they're not like you sit them sit and complete them at once as you progress in your journey as an artist there are certain points where you'll have to go back to these courses and refer to them that's like a encyclopedia so i would like to treat courses as an encyclopedia and not like a one-time thing that i have to get through. on that note i want to actually start going to the gym by eight o'clock so that i can leave by nine o'clock by 9 30 9 35 it gets very late and depressing to leave so i'm gonna try and edit this video in the next 20 25 minutes and upload it thanks so much for being in the code i'll catch you tomorrow peace